Hello everyone, I am Ghulam Abbas. I hope you guys are fine and doing great. In this video, I am going to show you how you can customize the Windows 11. So the very first thing is that if you want to change the background of your Windows 11, so just right click on the desktop and choose personalize. And then you are now in the settings. If you have not activated the Windows 11, you need to activate or buy the license. So you can see here are the three, the three methods that you can change the background. Here is a picture, solid color, and then slideshow. At the moment, you can see that I have already uh, attached a background of my own that I liked, and I have, you can see it is in the background. If you want to choose another photo, just simply click on the next one, and it is going to ap apply it on the background. So if your photo is located somewhere else, just click on the browse, and look at the uh, screenshot or the photo that you want to to set as a background so suppose i'm going to the media file and i'm going to choose this photo and then choose and now you can see it is applied and now you can see that this photo is basically applied to the background now there's also a setting that uh, choose a fit you may choose any of these settings for the background you wish for so any of the setting that you choose is going to apply the same thing now you can see that the size of this image is basically not uh yeah. 1366 by 768 basically that's the resolution of this computer now you can see here is the resolution of this pc which me uh, in simple words you may call it an hd resolution so that's why when i choose the field section the whole window collapsed like that one you can see it is the actual size of the image so you may choose any of the settings that you may like with them okay if you want to choose a solid color just simply go ahead and choose solid color and choose any of them that you desire so this is the solid color option to choose a background for windows 11 okay if you want to choose a slideshow you can also set up a slideshow uh by default these are the actual pictures available by default from windows uh, you may choose another folder and then simply put them as a slash so i'm actually i'm going to choose the media directory and now let's see that you can see this is the very first photo now in the desktop you can see uh next desktop these are basically the backgrounds it's going to bring and as you can see that all these settings are applied as a fit option as a field option sorry now you can see it is the fit and there's also some other uh, settings that I, every uh, photo should be changed by one minute and then there's also when you open the battery saver uh, from here if you turn this option it's going to basically run the slideshow in the background but i don't recommend any of them i simply recommend you to choose a solid uh, picture or you may use a solid color for them okay it's up to you so this is how you can change the windows 11 background now there's also the matter of theme if you want to change the theme of the windows 11 suppose you don't like that dark theme now you can see that uh, whenever i'm opening every window you can see that these are dark even the microsoft edge if i have to open uh, that will be i think dark yep it is dark so if you want to change the theme just simply right click on the desktop and choose personalize go to themes and then from here you can see here is windows light theme windows dark theme windows glow theme and then the captured motions and there are also two other uh, themes and also you can click on get more themes in the microsoft store uh, from there you can download the themes that you like the most uh, and then you can just simply use them as a background or no it is up to you okay at the moment i am going to choose the light theme and now you can see that the whole thing is changed now there's the white color a white background and then a white uh window even how about the microsoft edge let's just go ahead now you can see that it is uh, in the light mode so this is how you can change the uh, windows 11 theme i'm going to change it back to the dark theme i like it better currently it is night and it is not very good to use the light mode uh at night so Here's the background that I, I like and here's also the uh, color by default uh, it is chosen uh, basically by default it, uh, whenever you are choosing a theme uh, it is going to 
select those options so if you want to change the color of the uh, the color to light you can just simply choose the light option and it's going to change them but it remember that it is not uh, the theme it is not the theme okay go to colors again and then change it dark or you may choose another color how about uh, the default windows mode should be dark and then the app should be in the uh, light mode okay now let's just go ahead now we can see that these are in the light mode how about the app microsoft edge it is still in the light mode let's just change it if it is going to work okay personalize uh, color okay how about light and dark okay now it is changed now you can see that the window is dark even the microsoft edge is dark yep so these are basically settings that you may configure them yourself and there's also the transparency option you may enable this uh, disable it and then you can see the trust transparent uh, transparent is going to appear again so i'm going to choose the dark option this is how you can change the uh, background this is how you can change the background also uh, from here uh, you can go to the store settings also now you can see in the start menu that here are only two options recommended and then the pinned options uh, and there also when you open it here is the most used uh apps that i'm using in the windows 11 so you may turn them off this is basically the recently added apps and then the most uh used apps and then show recently open items in the start jump in the file okay you can also enable these features also if I, now you can see that i have disabled all of them from here now you can see there is not an option by the name of most used apps there's also the recently added uh, apps uh, basically when you enable that one you can see that they will be attached here so and there's also the taskbar now you can see if you right click in the taskbar you will only see the taskbar settings now here from here you can simply enable or disable all these menu here suppose you don't want widgets so basically widget is powered by ai and it is going to give the information that you like so you can turn it off if you don't like you can also turn the desktop button uh, you can see by default this little icon okay now you can see that i turned the taskbar uh, button off from there let's just go ahead right click in taskbar settings uh, when you click show widgets now you can see that the widget button is now turned on you can also turn it off you can also turn the desktop button you can see that these little icon in the uh, right side when you click that one uh, you can also turn it off from there you can also automatically hide the taskbar uh, there's i don't know what is the pages or whatever i did i could not find what it is you can also turn the ink if you are interested uh, you may use the touch keyboard i am using the touch keyboard very much uh, not actually my pc do not have a touch screen but i'm using it because uh, of the sound you can see that here is uh, a sound search i'm using it very a lot so there's also the task view you can turn it on from there there's also the search button you can also turn it turn it on or off so this is basically how you can simply customize the windows 11 in the basic level there's also the matter of this thing that i have replaced the quick access uh, by this pc you can also replace it by going here just right click in it and click choose options from here by default it is set like this okay now if i have to open close this one again and i have to open it you will see that uh, every recent activity that you do they will uh, appear here but i'm not interested in this one so i'm going to options and then i'm going to change them to this pc because i use this pc a lot uh, and i'm using the shortcut windows plus a when you press windows plus e on the keyboard basically this window will open for me okay you can also change the uh size of icons on the desktop so by default the icons are set to the medium you can see these are the icon sizes but i'm going to set them to small because i like them small and also i'm going to sort them out by the name 
basically this uh, whatever I do they will be sorted by the name okay uh, if your display is not basically set up you can just go ahead to display settings and from, and from there uh, you can choose a display that is suited for your computer my one is 1366 multiplied by 768 so this is the screen uh, size available for my desktop so this is how you can customize your windows 11 uh, in the basic level there are also in the advanced uh, advanced feature settings that you may want to use them suppose you want to configure the animation they should not appear in other words they should not use a lot of resources so here's how we can do them just uh, search for advanced settings now we can see that okay uh, advanced we can see that view advanced system settings when you click on it uh, the system properties will open from there you can click on the settings and then from here you can choose the animation the way you want them to use so you can just go ahead and play with them and then uh, click ok and you can see that what effects they have on the computer okay now the, the second thing is that i am basically uh, telling you it is the virtual memory it is basically you can change it if you want you can see by default for the system uh, it is set uh, where was the 16 MB I think by default yes you can change this and if your uh, PC's performance is not a lot good you can just simply change the setting the way you want them to be basically this thing uh, the virtual memory uh, is basically when you are installing an app and when you have opened multiple apps uh, only the RAM cannot handle them so this way you are providing providing some uh, amount of storage from your hard drive to the RAM that you may use them so by default it is using the 16 MB uh, so you may increase the amount the way you want you can see that you can increase it for the uh, drive C and then for drive D that my computer only have two drives so it is up to you you can uh, set the settings there are also the background services you can just go ahead change the settings for them also uh, these are some advanced level settings from here from here also you can set up the startup recovery now you can see default operating system is by default windows 10 although the currently uh, this is basically if you have dual booted your computer there will be for example two operating system available in your hard drive suppose a Linux or a Windows 10 or a Windows 11 you have two operating system in a single hard drive this way you can choose which operating system to boot directly to you can set them from here okay these are the advanced settings I'm not going to detail in them because this is basically a very basic introduction to the customization of the Windows 11 so I hope you like this video do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and I'll meet you in the next video